race really now starting to develop as we come towards the halfway mark final men's conference pairs croatia storming through there followed by new zealand great britain in third place great britain were quick and fast out to the first timing mark to the 500 meter mark and now just starting to get a little bit labored they're starting to be chased by everybody else and look at you can just compare great britain over there at the top of your picture and in the yellow boat in the mid one down Gary, it doesn't look dynamic, does it? You're looking at them and it just looks a little bit heavy in the middle of the boat. You want to see more dynamism as they take, they, they, they push through the middle part of the stroke to the finish. They row well, they row well, they row quite long, but it's not, it's, it's not, not hard enough. It's not, it's not dynamic. These guys and are look racing. look at these guys in the middle of the stroke. Look how they just open up through the middle of the stroke and then use their bodies at the finish of the stroke. That's dynamism. But watch New Zealand. New Zealand beginning to push hard, on hard now in this uh, third 500. Yeah, New Zealand have got clear water now as well. So it's always that psychological break. You can break a crew if you develop the clear water because he's sending the puddles down on the right there. They can send the puddles down over into the British lane and that just makes it a little bit more difficult, a little adds to a bit more chop well, there I think for the crews yeah. behind. I think the British are going to have a hard time holding on to third place, holding on to the bronze medal because they, they are getting now caught by, by Germany and the Italians are all very good. Uh, Dario Lari was uh, in the pair uh, for the Olympics and he had a very good run uh, in Lucerne in the World Cup last year. They won that, uh, and then they failed a little bit when it came actually to the Olympics. So they need to, the British need to watch out for, uh, for Italy. You know, they could learn something from this race. I mean, obviously they're in it, but if they could watch this back afterwards, and you can see, look how high these guys are up. They're up on a high rate. They come into a rhythm, but it's not sitting down in the boat. They're up on it, and they're sharp, and they're fast. 1,500 meters now approaching. The closing stages of the final, the men's coxless pairs. 500 meters remain now, stroke for stroke, Croatia and New Zealand. And in the last 200 meters, they have opened up a great amount of clear water and daylight between Great Britain and Italy. Italy in third place, Great Britain now down again. They were so promising in the opening stages of this final. They haven't been able to find the speed that's got them through the thousand. New Zealand now, stroke for stroke in the white boat up top in the yeah. black strip down. As they went through the last 500 meter mark there, the last into the last 500 meters, uh, New Zealanders went up to 38 strokes a minute. The, uh, the Skillin brothers were still at 36, and I don't see that the Skillin brothers are responding that well. Nope, and it looks really much now as if, uh, as if the New Zealanders have gone up a gear and they've got more to give. They just moved right up and they've moved now half a length ahead of, of Croatia. 250 meters remain. Remember, this is the event that Ray Grave won three of his five Olympic gold medals and New Zealand with their heads up are rowing strong and hard, slightly reminiscent of that sort of power that Regrave and Pinson used to have in this event. They've gone out to three quarters of a length. They're going to be hungry. They won't be satisfied with that. They'll want more. About 150 meters remain now, and still New Zealand lay on the power. Croatia with their heads down have almost given up. They're looking right. They're going to keep pushing on for that silver medal position. New Zealand out first, Italy in third, Croatia in second. As they come up to the line, it's a great win there for New Zealand. It's paddling in now. They've opened up the impressive clear water. Croatia now paddle again. They know that the silver medal is theirs. And Italy up in lane at number one have comfortably won the bronze medal. And Great Britain really have to, to lick their wounds here because they had it in the first 500. They lost it in the middle thousand. And there was nothing.